What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 2019 Milano San Remo um, the first real um, classic of the year um, and uh, for this classic we're gonna take the Group MFDG team uh, with Arnaud Demar, he was third last year, he was first two years ago um, I debated for a long time uh, for what team I should pick, uh, I longly, uh, longly, that's not a word, uh, I thought for long about taking Jumbo Visma, um, but I was scared Rune Wigan wasn't going to make the cut, uh, and also Mitchell and Scott with Matthew Trentin, but I don't think he was going to be good enough to win in PCM, so yeah, I've taken on uh, the FDJ team with Arnaud Demar, Stefan Kung, uh, the French champion Anthony Roux, Jacopo Garnieri, Mathieu Ladenius, Ignatius Conevalovas, and Olivier Legac. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in it. Uh, 293 kilometers between Milano and San Remo for the first spring classic of the year. Um, and let's do this. And we're on the way for the Primavera. 293 kilometers long um, for the first classic of the year, uh, the first actual classic of the year, and um, a classic that Demar has won in the past. That was in 2017. I think he won in front of Ben Swift and Jürgen Rollands. Uh, if my memory is correct, now we're going to try to do that again. He's on the minus one, which puts him on an 80 sprint. I would have liked him to be uh, maybe on a better day, um, but we're going to do our best either way. Favorites are obviously going to be Peter Sagan. Uh, you're going to have the likes of Gaviria, uh, Elie Vivane, um, Michael Matthews, and also your your casual um, attackers like the Vincenzo Nibali's, the Ala Philippe. The Valverde's, the Kutkowski, and uh, yeah, all of that is going to be complicated to deal with. But I've got faith in the team. Um, I've won this in career mode with FDJ, so yeah, I hope I can do it again. Uh, I'm recording this at the same time uh, the race is being uh, done, um, so I don't know what's going on in real life. Um, but before uh, I skip, there's uh, Benji who's made a Milano San Remo video, I think with Dukan and Quickstep. Team Zoski has made one with uh, Bora Hansgrohe. Their links will be uh, in the description, so you can like, check them out. Um, I mean, I'm gonna guess you know Benji if you know my channel, because uh, a lot of his viewers uh, came here, and thank you. Um, but yeah, we've covered about 20 kilometers, and uh, we've got a four-man breakaway. I think they're gonna spend the entire day uh, at the front. So we've got Albanese for Bardiani CSF, we've got Peccioni for Neri Sotoli, we've got Marco Fraporti for Androni Gucatoli, and finally we've got Dario Cataldo for Astana. Uh, a four-man breakaway with only Italian riders uh, in the first Italian Classic. I don't count Strade Bianchi as the same level. Um, and yeah, wishing them a, a good day at the front, because they're going to do this for absolutely nothing. Um, if Albanese wins Milano San Remo, I'll delete my channel. I hope he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I can still cut that out. But um, yeah, we're going to fast forward a bit uh, and see if something happens maybe in the Torchino uh, or then in the Capos uh, or like the Cipressa. I'm hoping something happens before. Uh, sit rep with uh, 136 kilometers to go. We're uh, across the halfway mark of the race. Uh, the breakaway is still leading um, 3 minutes 40 seconds is their lead, uh, they're just really not doing great. Uh, I think their biggest lead was about 6 minutes um, and then the peloton starts in pacing. Um, a peloton that's led by many teams actually uh, and that's not something I expected. Uh, I didn't think like that would happen but hey -oh, I could still be wrong. Um, 340 is the lead. I don't see the breakaway doing anything. Uh, I don't. I'm. I'm thinking that it might get caught up before like the first capos, which means we may have a counter attack on our hands, um, and maybe like send someone, uh, send someone in there, like a Stefan Kung, for example, or an Anthony Roux. Uh, I don't know, because I've just checked and I've got no one to sprint. Except Demar, so I can't make a train, which means I'm gonna have to rely on all the people, which is not something I usually do. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hope and pray for the best, um, because I could be in a. Like, it's it's not gonna be easy. 
it's just really not going to be easy. And I I'm, I'm know I'm going to struggle for a fact. But I'm willing to take the risk to win with Arno. So, yeah, we're going to have Garnieri get, getting water for the boys. Uh, if he wants to. There we go. And, um, yeah, I'll fast forward and see if anything happens uh, with the capo if the breakaway gets co-op. Alright, when the last actual capo, the capo Berta, uh, breakaway is going to get co-op by the peloton. They've been attacking each other for, like, quite some kilometers now. And, um, yeah, peloton has really upped its pace. Okay, uh, that's not good. Come on, Arno, you need to be back at the front, please, I beg. If Arno gets dropped now, my race literally has no point anymore. Okay, come on. I need to be absolutely... Like, my my mindset needs to be on point. I can't make a single mistake. Kung is uh, able to stop Sözla Danius. Uh, Antonio is here. Demar is here. Okay. Thing is, I know for a fact there's going to be a uh, attacks in the Shipresa. Now, my question is whether I should follow them with Antony or not. Because I'm really, really debating whether I should do that. Uh, Breakaway hasn't been co-op yet. Albanese, Pacioni and uh, Fruporti are still here. Cataldo is still in um, the middle, but he got co-op by the peloton. Alright, two kilometers left before the Shipresa. The first actual difficulty of Milan San Remo. Just paused the game for a second, sorry about that. Uh, there's an attack that's Yves Lampard, followed by Matej Moric. Okay, not something I expected. I didn't expect Moric to attack. I know he's in favourites for some reason. Like he's been mentioned quite a few times uh, to win. Okay, we're gonna have Demar, Ru, and um, actually, we, you know what? Okay, we're gonna have everyone. Just try to do uh, your best to stay in the peloton. Arno is not bad. He's alongside Sam Bennett. Roy Carvers. Uh, he's, he's doing fine. He's doing fine in the Shepresa. Uh He just needs to get this group, which would be absolutely incredible if you could just um, like make the cut. That would be incredible. Uh, and then, like, okay, is there going to be a break? I don't think so. Who's attacking? Yves Lampard. Alexan Alexander Christoph. Wow. Christoph is sacrificing himself for Gaviria. 20 kilometers left. It's not something I thought I would say. Okay. Well, Demar has made the cut. Everyone has in the peloton. Uh, there's no actual gap with someone like Lugak. It's not going to be of any use. Um... Anthony's still here, so is Arno, so that's the main thing. Our two main riders are here. Uh, well, right next to Alejandro Valverde and Oliver Nazan. Alright, Zion, Rene Vigan, Elia Viviani. I don't think I'm going to take Rene Vigan's wheel. It's a bit risky. Um, Alright, Demar, for now, full of Viviani. And Roo, you're going to follow Demar for a second. Kunevalovas, you can have fun. Let's all go 80 right now. It's uh, Wood van Aert who's pacing for now with Jean, Jean de Genkolb. Oh wow. Attack by Oliver Nazan. Attack by Oliver Nazan. We're going to follow with Stefan Kung. Okay, we're not because apparently we gotta, we were not going to do that. Um, wait. I don't know what to do. 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 Demar, follow Anthony Roux. Anthony, you're going to pace. I know that's probably not the wisest move I've ever done, and it might cost me the race, but... Oh, come on, I've been blocked. Come on. Not now. Not now. Not less than one kilometer away from the Poggio. That is evil. That's evil. Right, stay on the left for Luke, Lukasz Wyszniowski. I'm trying to find a gap. If, if I can stay behind Gaviria for the entire climb, I may have a chance. Edouard turns, Nicolo Bonifazio, John Degan Cole, we're gonna follow w with Stephen King. Who's attacking? That's it. Why is Nicolo Bonifazio here? 
I don't get it. Ju just like stay, r get ready for your sprint. Attack Van der Mat. Greg Van der Mat attacks. All right. I have to pace. I have to pace. Come on, stop, stop, Greg. I swear to God. Alejandro, why aren't you making the descent? Okay, four, four point eight kilometers left. I'm afraid the win is here. The win is probably going to be Peter Sagan. Okay. Uh, well, at this rate, I might just go as well. Then give everything I've got. Unless they, like, look a little... Oh, actually they might. Actually, they might look a little. Antonio, wait. Alright. Let's take a very little wheel, I swear. Arno. 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 No, I... Nah, shit. Shit. P3. Yeah, P3. Peter Sagan wins from Dylan Ronnevig and Arden Mark, Caleb Ewan, Greg Van Avermaet, Elie Vigiani, Fernando Guevara, Jasper Struven, Anthony Roux, and Alexander Kristoff. Uh, yeah, disappointing finish. I don't think I could have done any better. Uh, I was second of the sprinters. Ronnevig was too quick. I tried my best with um, Arno. I think P P3 was a reasonable objective considering today's form um, and considering the fact that I'm not the best. Um, like stats wise and also in the game um, but I'll, I'll take a yeah I'll take a P3 alright last place there will be Brand for Novo Nordisk let's see the podiums with uh, Peter Sekan who finally wins Milano San Remo Dibora Hansgrohe uh, rider who couldn't do it uh, when he was a world champion and uh, now can as a Slovakian champion uh, second place is Dylan Ronneveg and Arden Mark completes the podium for the third podium in a row on the Primavera for the French sprinter. Um, we're the best team, but I don't really give a fuck about that, to be to be entirely honest. Um, yeah, Sagan, Ronneveg, and Demar, Ewan, Van Avermaet, Viviani, St uh, Gaviria, Stoven, Roux, and Christophe is your top 10. A nice 11th place from uh, Valverde, 13th from Matej Mohoric, who caused me a lot of issues. Uh, Alain Philippe is 15th. Um, Degenkolb, disappointing 22nd. Christophe Laporte, disappointing 25th. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything else uh, to to say in this race. It was it was cool. It was better than all the classics I had previously done. Um, much better than the cobbles. Uh, and hopefully, I'll have the same luck uh, when I'll do like the Belgian classics. But yeah, Arnaud Demar takes third place in Milano San Remo. Uh, I think if he does the same in real life, he'll be happy with that. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please. Um, make sure to leave a like down below that would really help me out also comment down below if there's anything you want to say um, check out Tim Zoski and Benji's uh, video in the description down below uh, along as well as the world DB the database I'm using for this video uh, and for all the PCM videos I've done but yeah I think uh, I've, I've talked enough I've been Blackwall it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today guys and goodbye